make a big announcement today. His pick for U.S. Supreme Court justice. It's a decision that could very well have major implications for the future of social policy for decades to come. Our Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth joins us now from the High Court this morning. All right, Samantha, we don't know the answer yet. The president is supposed to make that announcement tonight at 9, uh, but he has narrowed it down to at least four people. Well, Holly, we are just hours away from the president's big announcement that has really put abortion back front and center in both local and national politics. Now, Roe v. Wade is that 1973 decision that legalized abortion and really has, you know, been front and center in this debate. Uh, we're really looking at that for right now. One of these four judges really could tip the balance for a generation. The president has been considering Judge Amy Coney Barrett, Brett Kavanaugh, Raymond Kefalidge, and Thomas Hardiman. Now, Kavanaugh was asked about the issue of abortion during his confirmation hearings to the D.C. Court of Appeals. He said he believes Roe v. Wade is binding precedent, which may not go over well with conservatives. Now, Judge Raymond Kefalidge has never spoken publicly about his views on Roe v. Wade, and neither has Judge Thomas Hardiman. Now, Judge Amy Coney Barrett has said she has no in interest in challenging the overall president of Roe v. Wade, but says she could envision the scope of abortion rights changing. Uh, she's a devout Catholic with seven children. Now, Democrats and some Republicans say this could all eventually potentially overturn Roe v. Wade, but conservatives dismiss that. We only have a single individual on the court who has expressly said he would overturn Roe. So I think it's a bit of a scare tactic. If you look at what the president said, which is he will nominate someone only if that person is committed to automatically overturn Roe v. Wade. Still, it is a long shot that the court overturns Roe v. Wade, but there is still some likelihood that the court could uphold some of these state laws that could make it more difficult to get an abortion. And these are laws that Justice Anthony Kennedy uh, banded with conservatives or liberals rather to fight. Holly. All right, Samantha, once this pick is announced, these are all basically conservative judges. Very unlikely that any Democrats will vote to confirm them. Uh, what about votes for all Republicans? Will the president have every one of those votes that he'll need? Well, Holly, that is the question of the hour. We're really watching two Republican senators, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski. Uh, they both really believe in pro-choice. And we'll see who the president nominates. But we're watching these two because Republicans really don't have a lot of wiggle room here when you consider Senator John McCain hasn't been back in the Senate to vote at all this year. They need at least, if one Republican or two Republicans vote no, that could really end this chance of this justice getting through. Sending it back to you, Holly. All right, Samantha, thank you. And again, the president is expected to make his announcement for the Supreme Court nominee tonight. Our coverage begins at 845 tonight, and we'll bring that live to you as it happens at 9 p.m. is the announcement.